Toronto, Canada, on the north shore of Lake Ontario, a vital industrial and cultural metropolis. And the Toronto Golf Club, an elegant course fashioned in a rich, green, rolling landscape. match over 18 holes between seven-time Canadian Ladies Open champion, former U.S. and British Ladies Amateur title holder, Marlene Streets of Toronto, Canada, and four-time Women's U.S. Open and PGA champion, winner of over 68 professional tournaments, Mickey Wright of the Oak Cliff Country Club, Dallas, Texas. To analyze the play, the legendary Gene Saracen, winner of every major title in professional golf, and to describe the action, a fellow member of the PGA Hall of Fame, three-time winner of the Masters, Jimmy DeMaret. This is Shell's Wonderful World of Golf, a series of international golf matches played on the world's most famous courses. This week, the Toronto Golf Club, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Toronto is the name given to their country by the Huron Indians. It means land of plenty and a more fitting description of this dynamic city and the province of Ontario of which it is the capital couldn't be found. Growth, progress, prosperity. The very atmosphere of Toronto is imbued with these ideas. And they find dramatic expression in the magnificent new city hall which soars over the center of the city. A striking structure considered as one of the architectural masterpieces of the continent and a new landmark already becoming the center of Toronto's civic and cultural life. Toronto vies with Montreal as the business and industrial capital of Canada and the heart of the country's financial life. It is one of the world's great ports, with the nearby St. Lawrence Seaway making it easily accessible to the deep water shipping of the world. to the over two million residents who make it Canada's second largest city. Toronto is, above all, a fine place to live. And the keynote to life here is room. Room to grow, room to expand, and room to enjoy. Toronto are justly proud of their rich inherited traditions, exemplified here in the thoroughly British pomp and circumstance which surrounds the running of Canada's richest race, the Queen's Plate, at Toronto's beautiful Woodbine racetrack. But they are even more proud of the fact that the horses that run the race are completely Canadian bred, owned, and trained. And this is, in a way, symbolic of Toronto and its people. Rich in history, proud in tradition, but dynamic, growing, and completely Canadian. The Toronto Golf Club is one of the oldest on the North American continent. Founded in 1876, it has been on this site for over a half a century. The tall evergreens and fine old birch trees that line the fairways and the gently rolling terrain form a golf course in perfect harmony with the natural surroundings. Many of the tees are highly elevated and offer splendid views of the fairways you must play to. The designer knew a lot about bunkering as well. This third hole has 11 sand traps stretching from tee to green and you can wear out your wedge if you're not careful around this 14th. If you're not on your game, this layout may wear you down a little, but you'll never get tired of playing it. That's the mark of a well-designed golf course. Prize money is $10,000. To the winner, it's $7,000. To the loser, $3,000. And in case of a tie, each player will receive $5,000.
And in addition, Shell will give $10,000 for a hole-in-one. Now let's go with Gene Cyrus and then meet the golfers. Hello, Marlene. Mickey, Gene. And Marlene, since you're an amateur and cannot receive uh, prize money, who would you like uh, Shell to make this check out to? What favorite charity of yours? Well, uh, I'd like it to go to the Junior Golfers in Ontario. Well, that's a wonderful organization. What is the... Uh, well, we're hoping to promote some good golfers in Canada, and uh, I think we will through this. Well, you do have some fine golfers in Canada, and uh, you certainly are uh, uh, a great one yourself. Well, thank you, Jim. Thank you. Yes, it sure is nice to see you back on the trail again. Boy, when I read that you were going to retire from golf, I was heartbroken. <laughs> the game needs you. You're too great a player to quit. Well, thank you, Gene. It's awfully good to be playing again. Uh, I did miss playing tournament golf, and uh, I'm especially happy to be up here in Canada. This is my first trip uh, to Toronto or any part of Canada, and it's a real pleasure being up here in this lovely country and playing this beautiful golf course. Good. Well, Jim, I guess it's time for me to toss the coin, huh? It always is, Jim. Well, I have an unusual coin here this morning. Uh, Queen Elizabeth on one side and Churchill on the other, just so that you don't steal it. <laughs> <laughs> you call it, Mickey. Churchill, please, Jim. Churchill. Well, it's Churchill. It's your honor. Thank you. <laughs> good luck to you, Mickey, and good luck to you, uh, Marlene. Hole number one is a very nice daughter of 342 yards, a par four. It plays over a wide fairway that is lined with trees and rough on both sides. It makes a slight swing left up to a green, which is a bank surface bunkered at the front corners and in back. The course plays 6,300 yards long to a lady's par of 73. Our match today, 18 holes medal played under the Royal Canadian uh, Golf Association rules, and uh, it's very similar to the USDA, means that both players must play the large ball. And, Gene, you've been... Uh, watching these girls practice all week, and uh, what do you see in the similarity of their golf swings in their golf games? Well, they're both very accurate. Uh, Mickey is a little longer. I don't know how much advantage it's going to be, but I've seen matches like this before in my lifetime. Remember when Sneed played uh, Paul Runyon in the finals of PGA? Well, a little Paul was outdriven by 50 or 60 yards on every hole, but he beat Sam that day. So this ought to be a very interesting match from that angle. I think so, Jane. It should be very interesting, and if she is an extremely uh, fine golfer. Well, she tapped it just about where she wanted to, Jane. Face the right. Gene, that was really poetry in motion there. It was good movement all the way through. But this is uh, Marlene Street, you know. She's very exactly. Well, yeah. little Marlene busted it right there. Right down to that line. <laughs> She's right on that pipeline all oh, the time, boy. Yeah. I told her the other day, I said, don't you get tired walking down the middle of the fairway? <laughs> <laughs> Little Marlene's feet uh, belted one down the center, about 190. She has a five wood for a second shot. And, Gene, that's uh, a pretty difficult shot to be opening up with a five wood, isn't it? She's pretty exacting with these woods because she uses them a lot, you know. The five wood is a very important club to the weekend golfer today the club that you should pull out in case of that long iron. Marlene stops it off to the right. It's going to be very close to that bunker. It jumps over to the right side of the green, hits in the fringe between the green and the trap, trickles off to the right and catches the sand trap just about cup high and in the trap to the right of the green. Mickey about 230 yards out with a 9 iron. Mickey heads it right at the flag. If it's up, Gene, it's going to be right at it. Oh, boy, it landed about uh, 25 feet short, but that's just about where it ended up. We see that uh, Marlene's in the trap on the right and has a slight mound in back of her. She's using a sand wedge. And notice that she set her feet firmly into the sand, which is the first thing you should do. A little strong, but a very fine shot. We have with us Mr. Dick Perrin, the president of the Toronto Golf Club, and our referee on our match. And uh, Dick, uh, give us a little information on this golf course you have. It's really great. Well, it was designed by Mr. Colt, who came over from England, and, and it was built around 1910-1911. It's uh, you, we have made some alterations in the uh, greens, but in a general way, it's an old-fashioned type of course. What is your handicap? 
settle. <laughs> That's real good. I <laughs> found out the other day, Jim. <laughs> well, thank you, Dick. It's nice to have you. And uh, there's a Mickey off about uh, 24 feet. She's getting a sight on it. She's an excellent putter. Mickey's choke is firm. In fact, too firm. It's going well past the hole and a good five feet past. Marlene's trap shot out is about 10. Incidentally, uh, both players come into this match with tremendous records. So you can see what kind of match we're going to have today. Little Marlene stands very erect, don't you, Gene? Sure does. Better hurry. Ten, ten. Ten. Oh! Stroke lead here. She has about five foot of par, her par. Oh boy, isn't that beautiful? And uh, Mickey leads by one stroke through the first hole on Shell's wonderful world of golf. The final hole at the Toronto Golf Club in Canada is a dog leg to the right with trouble on the same side. Mickey drove into the right corner of the fairway about 245 yards. Marlene Street caught that swale of rough some 200 yards out on the right. Marlene's next shot landed in another swale short of the green. Mickey was now away playing her second shot. She has a short shot to the green. The cup is on the right-hand side. The trees are in front of her. The limbs hanging over, but she has enough room that she shouldn't bother at all. And with the wedge, she lost it high up toward the uh, center of the green. It's going to land short and run up. It hit on the down slope and got a nice kick. She was far enough back so that the uh, trees actually didn't bother at all there, did they, Gene? No, the trees were not in her way. But she, all she had to do was hit the ball and sure to carry them. Marlene's shot uh, down the embankment there in the short rough to the right, about 70 yards from the green. Very pretty setting here for this green. It uh, lies in the uh, trees all around it, the clubhouse off to the left. That was a fine wedge shot, up left of the pin, and she'll have a putt for a par. Marlene is on in three, has about a 10 footer for a par, and uh, Mickey has about a 35 footer for a birdie. It's beginning to uh, shower just a little, and the umbrellas popped open, the very colorful umbrellas, as you can see. The uh, thunder in the background is a big thunderhead just over the uh, 18th tee. Mickey is one on the par. Had better hurry. It has a beautiful line that's going to be short, about three feet. He writes from the markers, and Marlene's just going to putt. Marlene putting for par four. Another pop of thunder and oh! It drifted off to the right and she picked up another bogey to finish five over par. And uh, there's no doubt about it that this will be our winner right here. Mickey's going to line this up. She has a nice putt of about three feet for her par to stay one under par. That's excellent golf around here, Gene. Oh, yes, that's very good golf under the conditions. And she got it. Beautiful. Great putt there. And so uh, uh, we're going to call the girls in in just a moment. Uh, they're shaking hands with one another. They're very close friends. And you see one of the fi finest amateurs in the world there, uh, Marlene Street, congratulating the fine professional golfer from the United States. And we're going to call them over here and... Uh, Marlene, I think you played an excellent game. Well. You didn't have all the breaks, but... Uh, thank you, Gene. I enjoyed it very much anyway. Missy was just terrific, and it was a great thrill for me to even be able to play today. Marlene, since you are an amateur and you're unable to receive uh, prize money, uh, Shell would like to present you with a little uh, token of appreciation for appearing on the show, and uh, we hope that you will always cherish this and put it with uh, many... Uh, trophies that you have in your trophy room. Well, thank you very much, Jimmy, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank Shell for inviting me back once again. I was so thrilled to be invited last year, and to come back again this year is just uh, 
unbelievable to me, and uh, to have the opportunity to play with Mickey is um, just wonderful. And I just want to thank everyone so much. Mickey Wright, I want to congratulate you. You played magnificent golf. That was one of the finest rounds I've seen in a long time. With the exception of one hole, boy, it was just perfect. Yeah, and thanks. I want to congratulate you again. Mickey, on behalf of Shell, it's excellent golf, and you always put on a great show, and we're delighted to have you on the show. Jimmy, thank you so much. It was a real pleasure Again, being on the show, as Marlene said, uh, when you play on the show one time, you feel like you've been most fortunate, but twice is almost too much to ask. And I'd like, also like to say a comment here about the people in Toronto. I think these are the most marvelous golf galleries I have ever seen. It's been a wonderful group, and uh, they've been uh, about as impartial as they could possibly be, as much as they love Marlene, and I do appreciate it. Enjoyed it very much. Thank, Thank you, you both very much. And, Gene, don't we have something here? Now we have a little clinic to do, so you and I better go over. Oh, good. We'll see you later, then. Bye-bye. Okay.